liberals attack shithole Trump, Obama humiliated as embarrassing secret comes out. With liberals once again calling President Donald Trump a racist because of his recent shithole comments, it seems that there is no end in sight to the left's relentless attacks. Unfortunately for them, things just blew up in their face, and now, former President Barack Obama has been left humiliated after getting caught in the crossfire following his own embarrassing secret coming out. The country is currently abuzz, and there's just one thing they're all talking about. President Donald Trump. As you've likely heard by now, a report was released saying that Trump referred to a few places throughout the world as shithole countries. President Trump grew frustrated with lawmakers Thursday in the Oval Office when they discussed protecting immigrants from Haiti, El Salvador and African countries as part of a bipartisan immigration deal, according to several people briefed on the meeting. Why are we having all these people from shithole countries come here? Trump said, according to these people, referring to countries mentioned by the lawmakers. Source, The Washington Post The left immediately led into Trump once news of the remark was made public. Of course, the fact that all the countries he referred to as shitholes are mainly comprised of people of color, it was easy for liberals to reignite claims that he's a racist. As one would imagine, the attacks have been coming ever since. In the meantime, President Trump has since taken to Twitter to say that the report was wrong. Although he admitted to using tough language, he adamantly denied saying those exact words. The language used by me at the DACA meeting was tough, but this was not the language used, Trump tweeted, adding, what was really tough was the outlandish proposal made, a big setback for DACA. Regardless, the left is on a roll with their antics right now even going too far as to label Trump's mouth a shithole. Of course, their biggest concern is that Trump was allegedly referring to countries made up of black and brown folk. However, what they're not seeing is that Trump's entire campaign platform was basically that Obama had turned America into a shithole country and that only he could make it great again. In the end, millions of people agreed. But the important takeaway now is that shithole has nothing to do with the color of the people in it but rather the condition of the country. But, that's not all. Things just got much worse for the left as their remarks just blew up in their face in a spectacular way. In fact, it seems that former President Barack Obama himself just got caught up in the crossfire and has been left humiliated after his embarrassing secret came out. According to The Independent, Obama called Libya a shit show after the war he started didn't turn out the way he wanted. For those who don't remember, Obama decided to get involved in Libya in hopes of toppling Muammar Gaddafi's regime. As Margaret Kimberly, Black Agenda Report editor, and senior columnist, points out, Barack Obama led a NATO, jihadist coalition to topple the Libyan government and kill thousands of people. Massacres of African migrants and darker-skinned Libyans followed. When the war crime didn't work out as he hoped he referred to the attacked nation as a shit show. Despite many Americans expressing that we wanted no part in it, Obama still got involved, only to leave U.S. citizens outraged. He would later refer to the situation in the country as a SHT show because he apparently didn't realize how big of a mess would be made when killing off a country's leadership. Now. You won't hear any of this from the leftist media because they would rather just ignore the truth when it comes to things that contradict their narrative. In the end, President Donald Trump isn't the first and he certainly won't be the last to use colorful language during his presidency. However, people want to pretend that this is a bigger ordeal than it actually is, and it shows how far the bias has spread across this nation. These are words that a large portion of America has used to describe a place at some point in time, and if the left thinks they're going to hurt Trump over one word, they clearly haven't learned from their several pathetic failed attempts in the past. Past.